turn now to a possible game changer in the fight against Alzheimer's. Research is announcing an experimental drug has produced positive results in slowing memory loss in some patients. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar is with us now. It's exciting. But explain what exactly is going on here. Well, first of all, I want to say just from the outset that we want to temper a little bit of the enthusiasm because f previous drugs have shown promise in early phase one trials and then have gone on to not show significant improvement in patients clinically. And I think that's kind of important. We don't know exactly what causes Alzheimer's, but we do know that it is characterized by these abnormal plaques of protein in the brain. What this study showed was that patients who were given this drug for a year and, and, and in a time and dose dependent manner had a significant reduction of these plaques which means that the people who got the highest dose had almost complete disappearance of these plaques. But I do want to say, again, does that translate into something meaningful clinically in terms of their cognitive function? Yeah, let me just make sure I understand. Just <laughs> okay. because you have a reduction in the protein plaques, does it mean that you slow the progression of memory and thinking problems or even halt the progression. Exactly. But here is where the important thing is, is that we do know that these plaques can start to surface years, even like a decade before symptoms start. So imagine if you could take a population of people who are at risk, either by screening or genetic risk, and give them this drug that early and prevent the plaques from ever developing, could that then translate into a truly meaningful treatment for Alzheimer's? The notion being almost something that speaks to prevention or stopping it before we get to this terrible can you situation. Imagine. So right now there are two phase three trials that are ongoing. Twenty Small different Small study though, right? Right now this was a 165 patients, a, a phase one B trial. There are two phase three trials that are ongoing. We're hoping to have data by 2020. And if then again, if we can truly show halting in memory decline and improvement in cognitive function. What a boon for the for the patients who suffer from so this. Precious little good news in this area. Exactly. Though, so cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Dr. Azar, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.